Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about two things which are extremely important in every driving a project and that is units and layers. For layers we are going to talk about how to change them, customize and how to use them properly. So let's start first with units options. You can find units options in two ways. The first way is to click on A button up here, then scroll down to driving units and then select units. The second way is to type the short name UN on the modeling space and press enter. When you open this window you will have a several options. The left options is for driving units. A type you have several options all depends on what you need. Here you have architectural, decimal, engineering, fraction and science fix. When you select in one type of units that you want to drive, the next thing is to select the precision. In here you can set how many decimals you want to show off. The next option is to scale unit. Here you have inches, feet, centimeters, meters, you can choose what you need. The second part of the unit options is to set up the units from the angle. It is the same with the driving units, you have the tape of angle and you have the precision of the angle. Second part of this video, we are going to talk about layers. The first thing what I want to talk about is how can you create the new layer and what options that you have. So let's start it. The first step to create the new layer is to open the layer properties. You can do that by clicking here. The next step is to create the new layer. You can do that press by pressing here on the new layer button. Now we create the new layer. The first thing is to give the layer a name, like this. The second thing is to set the color. Click on the white rectangle and choose the color that you want. Next step is to choose what line type that we are going to use. Press on the continuous and then click on load. Here you can choose what type of line that you want to use, then click OK. Next select the new line and click OK. The last step in creating the new layer is to set up how much is going to be thick our line. Click on the diffuse and here you can select the thickness of the line and click OK. Very good, you have made your first layer. To activate the layer you must press on current button and now the new layer is active. You, you can drive with this layer. Ok, now let's talk about the layers option. Let me show you a little trick. You can create the support lines who will not show in the printing or in the PDF file. Here in the layer properties you can find the little icon of the print. If you click on it, you will deactivate the print options of this layer. So this layer is now invisible for printing and for publishing. Now let's explain the another options. The first option is off. If you press this option, you will turn off the layers that you have selected. Next option is isolate. Now this option is very interesting. You can activate this option and you can hide the layer from the working space and all the objects now are on these layers. They are not deleted, just hide it. This is using when you have a lot of details and objects and you can hide them. The next option is freeze. This option is used when you are working in paper space. Let me show you. Now we are in the paper space and let's activate the freeze command and select one line. Like you can see it disappear from the paper space. But if we click on the another paper space you can see the line. The next option is lock. If you activate the lock options and select the line or the object then you can delete them or make it any editing. And last option is make current. With these options you can make the one line or the object the same with the select layer. The last thing that I want to show you is how to load the script for layers. You can download this script from the link below. Go 
to River and click on Manage. Next, click on Run Script. Then select the script and press OK. Now you have a full list of players. How cool is this? For the last part of this video, I want to make a little exercise for you. Close this and open the new file. Now we are going to create some layers for our final project. Open the layer properties. Create the new layer. Name it exterior valves. Then choose the color of this layer. Choose color red. And click OK. Next, create the new layer. Name this layer interior valves. And choose the color in green. Click OK. Next, create another layer. Name this layer doors. Choose the colors in blue. Click OK. Next, create another layer. Name this layer window. And select the color gray. And click OK. Next, I want to save this file. Go to A button. Click on Save As. Click on Driving. You can save this on your desktop and you can name it and you can name it layers and click save thank you for your attention i hope you like this video don't forget to visit my blog link is in the description for more information and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel see you in the next video